Hello, hello, what's going on YouTube world? It's Aaron from NN Audio, and I just wanted to bring a little demonstration video of a new plugin I just made called Rompel Workstation. Um, so let's just kind of get right into it. First off, this is our presets panel. As you can see, it's got expansions, instruments, and presets. Uh, the factory bank has 250 presets in it. From the expansions, you go into the instruments, um, and then obviously you have each individual preset for the selected instrument category. For any of these columns, if you want to add a new, say, expansion, uh, it's really easy. You just click the Add Expansion button. If you want to rename an expansion or delete an expansion, and it's the same for all three columns here. So you can add um, your own presets to any of these folders as well, but be careful because you can also delete some of these presets. If you buy an expansions pack and you want to add the expansion pack to your, your presets folder, the easiest way to do it is to open the plugin, click the more button, push show preset folder. It'll open the, uh, the uses presets folder for your computer. You just open it up and you'll just copy and paste the expansion pack into this users preset folder. The back arrow will load the previous preset. The forward arrow will load the next preset. The X will clear your preset. The folders will allow you to change the sample folder location. This will be handy if you say you had the, the sample archive for the plugin on your desktop and you move it to an external hard drive. You can use this to relocate the, the sample archive so the plugin knows where it's at. And then the question mark here will just open up a, the manual for the plugin if you need any further information about the plugin. Over here, we have the favorite icon. So you see all the stars next to the, the individual presets here. You can click on any of these to send them to your favorites. Click the star here, and then you can just view your favorites that you have selected in the, in the plugin. And it'll view from all the different instrument categories. It'll be all your favorites from every expansion that you have lo uh, loaded into the plugin. All right, and then to do the rest of the demo, I'm gonna choose a preset here. I have a, a piano MIDI loaded, so I'm gonna choose a piano. Give me one second. That's dope. That's super dope. All right, so from the presets, we'll jump into the samplers. So all these samplers use wave samples to play the audio. Uh, the wave samples are included in the, the Rompel Workstation, the Rompel Workstation sample archive, or you can load your own samples into here as well. These three buttons on the left of the audio waveform are gonna be your different sampler view windows. So the first one is where you could drag and drop your audio or you can double click to clear the sample that's loaded. The second is the sample range. So you can change the start and the end times of the, of the selected sample. And the third is the loop range, which you have to have loop enabled to be able to view the loop range. And here you can change how you want the, the sample to be looped. So this was obviously the loop button. The button above the loop button is the reverse button to play each sample in a, in a reverse mode. This X fade is the loop crossfade. So wherever you have these loop points set at, the loop crossfade then obviously crossfades the start and end points of the loop. Below the audio waveform, you'll have your standard sampler modules. Here is your classic AHSDR. In the center, you'll find the gain, the pan, the transpose, and the detune. And on the right, you'll find the tune and the ADSR for the pitch of the sample. And then all the way to the right, we're going to have three separate EQs. They each have the frequency, the gain of the frequency, which I, goes, I believe goes up to 18. And the range of the frequency, which is the Q of the frequency. And then on the bottom, you can select the filter that you'd like for the selected EQ. And then even though this is technically an effect, I also want to touch on it with the samplers because it's the it's actually the way that you can, it's another way that you can control which samplers are being played. So the morph effect over here is, it, it's a an LFO that blends between the samplers. 
So each of these squares within the morph effect are each of the samplers starting one, two, three, and four. So the range of this will tell you is basically narrowing it down to which samplers you would like to be played while you're playing with this effect. The depth is kind of how deep you want it to go within those samplers or how deep you want the, the LFO to move. Select is just another way that you can kind of pinpoint where you want it to be on these samplers. Uh, the smoothing is how how well you want it to blend between the samples that you have selected. And the speed is obviously how quick you want that LFO to go, the frequency of the LFO. Um, so please, if you're looking, if you're trying to play a, a sampler and it doesn't seem to be working, like if I turned on sampler three right now, it's only playing on sampler one and two with the morph effect on because you have the morph effect selected. So you'd have to shut off the morph effect. You can play samplers one, two, and three, no problem. If you turn on the morph effect and it's only playing on these first two bars, you'll have to change the range to get it to the first three bars. And now you'll play all three samplers here through the morph effect. From the sampler and the morph effects, we'll move on to the main effects rack or the main effects panel. The main effects panel has seven different effects, delay, reverb, a wet filter, the wobble and flutter, dimension, and a texturizer. The space analyzer just kind of gives you an idea of what your sound is doing visually. Over here on the right, you'll see another effects rack. Uh, these knobs here are all connected to a knob within here as well. So it's kind of just like a quick effects. If you're in your samplers, you want to kind of see how it sounds without having to go all the way to the effects panel. You can kind of just use these to give yourself an idea, then go in and fine tune the effects from here. So the delay is pretty self-explanatory. You have a left and a right delay, uh, tempo synced, the mix of those, and then the feedback distance as well. The reverb, you have the size of the reverb, which is kind of like the, the dimension of the reverb, the room size of the reverb, the dampness of the reverb, and the mix of the reverb. The wobble and flutter, pretty self-explanatory. The frequency, the tune of that, and the smoothing of the wobble or the smoothing of the flutter. And we have the dimension here. The width knob can take it up to 200%. The position will take it from left to right. On the main rack over here, you have multiple oscillators that you can use to add a little bit more dimension to the, to the sound. So including the oscillators and the samplers, that's six sounds you can have playing at one time. So lastly down here, we have the texturizer. This is really cool because you can take basically any sample and turn it into a playable instrument that you can play behind your created sounds in the plugin to give it a, a cool atmosphere or a cool texture within the sound. Um, so it's just like another sampler. You're going to have to load a sound in order to get the, to use the other windows. Here we can choose the sample range and here we can loop it. So now this texture will be playing all the time whenever we're playing something. So if we just played it regularly like this, it's probably just gonna sound like an outdoor fire. That's what it is. So that's a fire burning in my backyard. So the bells here are all on a key of C on the frequency spectrum of this sampler. So when you turn the gain up, you're turning the key of C up in different spots on that audio spectrum up to 24 decibels. The bell here is just the cue of the bell. So it's on default, it's, it's turned up all the way. Just to give you a really high spike right on the key of C in different areas of this audio spectrum. So if we turn the first one all the way up, we'll hear a difference. You can kind of hear a like a howl in the background with it now. And now even though it's got a bunch of still random frequencies in it, we at least got a key of C in there that you can then tune here so that you can play this in the background of your music and it still goes with the music rather than just being a, a random textured sample. And last but not least, we're going to have the expansions window. Um, this is going to be changing all the time with every update that we have. Um, right now it's going to be so that you can view any new expansions that are coming out. It'll take you right to the website, to the expansions page. 
and also let you check for the newest updates to make sure that you have the, the newest update on your system. All right, now let me reset it here. I'm gonna bring in some random sounds and I'm gonna try and make another piano here just so you guys can see what you can do here with uh, Rampa Workstation. Just like that, we made some trippy weird shit. All 
I'll be doing some more videos too on how to create different types of sounds and stuff in the instrument. So um, please stay in tune. Hopefully you like the video. Hopefully you like the, the plugin. Check it out. Let me know what you think. There is a demo version too, so you can check it out at no cost, no, no worry. So um, let me know. Leave your feedback. Appreciate it. Enjoy.